The date was September 11th, 2023. Mark Rubin, executive producer on X Defiant, put out the update on the release of X Defiant, in which he detailed the issues they were having getting the game into our hands. The main issue being that their certification submission to both PlayStation and Xbox came back in July of last year. It was a non-complete submission. Essentially, there were a few issues that needed cleaning up. To quote, we realized then that we had more work related to compliance than we had anticipated. If it had passed, then we would have been able to ship at the end of August. Keep in mind, this is last year, by the way. The quote continues, but it didn't. And so we have spent the last three to four weeks fixing those issues and getting ready to do another submission. We are currently in the CM prep part of that process and will hopefully be submitting to first parties in a little less than two weeks. And above that post, Mark had detailed that the CM prep part was followed by one week of heavy QA and a compliance testing. And then if that passes, it then gets sent in for certification. So they were looking at about two, maybe three more weeks, depending if things go well. It's now the end of March of 2024, and the game still has no release date in sight. Fans are beginning to get angry with the lack of a solid release date, and amidst all of this, Insider Gaming has now released a new exclusive detailing the internal struggles at the studio between the execs at the top and the team itself. It seems yet another Ubisoft title is in trouble, and today, I want to break down everything going on with X Defiant, the game meant to provide gamers with an alternative to Call of Duty, but has just provided nothing but a headache. My name is Big Fry. Leave a like on this video if you enjoy it. Let's get into it. So I think the best thing to start off with is this article from Insider Gaming that dropped on March 23rd, so that would have been Saturday, and in it, it details like what happened in September of 2023, essentially saying like they had a free-to-play gem on their hands, the gameplay was good, the community was bustling, transparency from the devs was highly praised, and the game had a really passionate and dedicated community. Now, the only thing I think I could take and change from there was that the gameplay was good. I'm not the biggest fan of X Defiant. Personally, I think the game is... Okay, I don't think it's game changing. I don't think it's gonna pull people away from Call of Duty the way that their fans think it will, but it doesn't have to. Like, as long as it exists and it has support, and maybe they can grow it like they've been doing with R6, you know, maybe it could be something someday. But then it goes on to say that according to Ubisoft's quarter three earnings report, X Defiant was scheduled to be released by the end of quarter four, 2024, which is, uh, well, it's March 31st, 2024. But with just one week until the date, there's been zero indication of a release. The once loathed transparency is now seemingly dead and X Defiant hasn't had an update for some time. And Tom Henderson has actually spoken with developers who wish to remain anonymous because they are not authorized to speak about company plans. Apparently, the game was supposed to release during the last week of February when this internal release date was made public via Ubisoft's earning call, a deadline that was obviously missed. This article also details that this is kind of par for the course with X Defiant saying that it has missed a lot of internal targets in the last couple of years and the game's just it's it's kind of just slowly outdating itself the longer it goes on. And these developers' main gripe is they're becoming increasingly frustrated with a lack of progress, and they say, in short, the game's shortcomings stem from the executive's pursuit of trying to copy Call of Duty rather than building their own game. Creatively, it's frustrating for the team, but from a technical perspective, it also presents new challenges and has become the main reason for delays. They are quoted by saying the never-ending hunt to chase COD and add pointless stuff always breaks the current build, which often then requires days of fixing the game. The article does say, as is generally in the case of games in limbo, the root of the problem comes from the higher ups with developers left with the burden. In truth, if you're a fan of X Defiant, I would be a little more wary in the future of the whole open transparency thing as it usually has bigger implications and doesn't reflect what's truly going on. And this reminds me so much of what happened when SOCOM, Zipper Interactive, and Sony released SOCOM 4. They were trying to chase Call of Duty numbers. They were implementing things that essentially weren't good for the franchise, and the game fell flat on its face, 
And among a few other issues going on in the studio, that essentially killed Zipper Interactive. Now, we have X Define here that is trying to build its own game while also trying to take on Call of Duty, while also trying to chase Call of Duty features. Now, I wish this article would have went more into what kind of features these guys have been asked to implement from Call of Duty so we can kind of get a gauge on what they're actually being requested of. We don't get any of that here. I'm not quite sure what that means. The Call of Duty comparisons with this game have been insane since day one. This game was for, touted as a Call of Duty killer from a lot of people. By the way, I fucking hate the word, like, uh, underscore killer. Shut the fuck up. But apparently the execs want to chase Call of Duty as Tom Henderson has written here. But the crazy thing about this is we get a little peek up from Mark Rubin, who has taken to Twitter to refute every claim in this article so let's pull up this thread here mark rubin says we have an update coming soon probably this coming week so something should be happening this week in regards to x defiant i know we've been silent and to be honest there just isn't much to talk about i know people want to see the game ship and so do we this was the first tweet of many I can't wait to ship just so we don't have to talk about ship dates anymore and we can talk about more important stuff like gameplay, balancing, or new content, modes, and maps. Yeah, I'm sure everybody else feels the same way, Mark, but the question is, is like what you said six months ago was that you guys were having certification issues and it would be a few weeks that turned to a month that turned to two months and now we're six months later. Ah, okay, sure. He says, just to be clear, we're not sitting around with the game fixing every last little bug. Nobody launches perfect bug free. We do our best, but it's just not realistic to think that. We had major technical issues that we found right before we launched that had to be fixed. And that's what the team has been working on. And they are not just minor bug fixes, but major infrastructure and full system overhauls. The game remains the same that you played already, which we have strived to make as fun as possible, which we feel confident about. So even in this tweet, Mark does allude that they ran into major technical issues. What those are, again, we don't fucking know, but they say that they have been doing major overhauls to infrastructure and full systems. Uh, for me, I don't quite understand what could have been so, you know, technologically disastrous to stop you from a launch when you guys even said six months ago that you were confident that the delay would be short. I really wish just as like a, a fan and a nerd, I kind of want to know what those issues were. But he says, aside from questions about launch, which I can't talk about, I'm happy to chat about most anything else related to the game. For instance, I can confirm that no push has been made to put skill-based matchmaking into the game. I'm not sure if this was a rumor running around from people that like, oh, they're chasing Call of Duty. They've got to be putting skill base. I, I, I don't know about all that. He says our unranked playlist will still have no skill based matchmaking and you will get the variety of gameplay that you see when there isn't skill based matchmaking. So his wording there tells me that there will be a ranked mode that does have some sort of skill based matchmaking. He does say, I, I hope everyone's having a great weekend and thank you all for following X Defiant with so much passion. We love you all. In my opinion, that's a, a decent response, I guess. Like, it doesn't really go into depth. And, and honestly, some of the tweets, if you were to extrapolate what he's saying, it does kind of lean towards maybe Tom Henderson is onto something and maybe these developers have been overhauling these systems. Maybe the, the overhauls are happening because of people on board. Again, this is one of those stories where there's three sides. There's, you know, Mark's side and the team side. There's Tom Henderson's side. And then there's the truth of it all. And we just will never hear that side. Now, one Twitter user named uh, Jaeger has curves. Uh, he did say, imagine chasing COD and he tagged Mark, tagged X Defiant. The one thing we didn't want was to be a COD reskin, drop the damn game and update it after we play. Crazy how this is still ongoing. So you can clearly see the frustration is starting to mount with a lot of these players. Mark Rubin did respond to this tweet specifically. And he says, just FYI, nothing about our delay is due to any new features. In fact, not much has changed from a gameplay standpoint. The delay has been due to the tech issues we've talked about. Whoever said chasing COD in Tom's report was major eye roll. So what we have here is Mark Rubin essentially saying that whoever the employees that Tom Henderson talked to on the X Defiant team uh, major eye roll and that they aren't accurate at all with their statements. And this is like a running thing with X Defiant and the development as a whole. They have done so many play tests and so many like alphas and betas, and they are still having, according to Mark himself, major technical issues even at this stage of the game. Keep in mind, this is Ubisoft. Keep in mind, billion dollar studio. I understand developing games is hard, but 
there is no fucking way that these guys are having this many technical issues. I'm just going to say it. I don't know if I actually believe Mark Rubin when he says this. Now, this is my personal opinion. You do not go from submitting a game for certification to being able to find multiple technical issues overhauling major systems in six months. There's something fundamentally wrong with the development of this title. And I don't know what it is because every time they, they, they think they're like closer to launch, things just consistently fuck up. And from a team like this with the resources they have, I just don't understand it. Especially coming off the heels of Skull and Bones, which as you guys know, has had a, a, just a tremendously long meme worthy development cycle. This is starting to feel like it's kind of in the same kind of sinking boat. X Defiant was announced almost three years ago. And at the time the game was already, according to their trailers and the gameplay that we'd seen was already in a state that like was more than playable three years of bug fixes, technical issues and overhauls, and we're still like no release date in sight. I I'm not quite sure what's happening there. As always, I want to know your guys' thoughts on this situation. Are you excited for X Defiant or is, is the hype dying? Were you hyped for it in the first place? Let me know down below. Let's talk X Defiant. What the fuck do you think is going on with this studio? Billion dollar studio, multiple developers. What's going on? If you enjoyed the video, leave a like on it. Subscribe for more content just like this. My name is Big Fry and I'll see you on the next one.